Hello ladies and gentlemen, internet viewers, welcome back to the Unchefs. I'm Ron. And I'm Bill. And I'm Nick. Oh yeah, today we're making some Acapulco enchiladas. We have here our tortillas. Uh, this is our Kistler Farms uh, jalapeno caliente, which we will be spreading on the tortillas later. Uh, some chopped tomatoes to add to it as well. Our enchilada sauce, our finely diced jalapenos, also known as jalapeno. Uh, chopped green bell peppers, my wine, and uh, some red kidney beans. Awesome. Now, over here, this is the meat. We're going to use one pound of uh, the leanest meat we could find to brown up. Uh, we have our oven, oven, rather, not onion, which is preheated to 350 degrees because we're going to bake later. Starting out, you know, I'm going to turn on my skillet to a medium heat. <laughs> It's falling apart. Don't worry, the oven's a little janky. I'm just gonna throw this back on here, and we're gonna we're gonna get going, okay? First off, I'm gonna put some water in the skillet. That way, the meat's not sticking to the bottom, okay? Have about half a cup of water here, just pouring that in. Then I'm gonna add our lean chuck. Actually, I don't know if it's chuck. But sirloin. Sirloin. Hey. But chuck is usually used. Chuck is usually used. And then I'm gonna break it out or break it down because we don't want you know. Yeah, you want it broken apart. You don't want chunky meat. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to brown it, and then we're going to drain it, and then we're uh, going to get going with the enchilada sauce and the other ingredients. So we still have it on the medium heat. Uh, we're going to switch that around. Okay. All right, we're going to take got? our sauce. sauce, dump her in there. All right. We're going to take our one jalapeno, other other uh, known as uh, otherwise known as otherwise <laughs> jalapeno <laughs> jalapeno jalapeno yes please right, add it right in there look at that oh my god that's gonna be nice and spicy um, we did devein that and we took all the seeds out so uh, it won't be as hot it might add a little bit of sweetness to it because jalapenos do have a sweet flavor Nick what's your opinion on the matter huh <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have all of our green peppers there, God, that was beautiful. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna mix all that together. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and add the uh, kidney beans. <laughs> Bill, what are your thoughts on this? I concur. <laughs> that once was a cow. What are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. Just go crazy. <laughs> so yeah, we should probably uh, get that next step going, huh? Okay, the next step, while well, this uh, simmers for five or so minutes, is... Some Kutzer Farms cheese spread, jalapeno okay. caliente. So I have my knife. I'm okay. going to take the cheese spread. Now why did we decide to do flour tortillas and not corn tortillas? Because... I don't know, Bill. Why did we decide that? Actually, the reason why we decided to go with flour tortillas is that uh, they're the first ones we found at the store. <laughs> Actually, and he's that, right. My fellow Americans, Actually, is the truth. Is that the truth? That is. Do we get a Old thumbs up? Fact, I'll give you a thumbs awesome. up. Awesome. So, what are we gonna do with the uh, the meat substance there? Uh, what What are we going to do with that? You know, we're. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't have any idea. We're going to eat it. <laughs> okay. So what are you going to do with the tortillas and the cheese there? I'm going to put meat in it. Okay, why don't you show us how to put the meat okay. in the I will do tortilla. That. I'm going to take about, you know, eh, a little more than that. Okay. Then we're going to wrap it up. Okay. And we're going to put the bottom side down on the baking sheet. Once we get the cheese spread and the uh, meat in them, mm -hmm. we're going to spread more meat on top of all of them. Okay. And then we're going to put them in the oven and bake them for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay. So that'll crisp up the uh, flour tortillas? They'll yeah. Be beautiful and crispy. Beautiful. Delicious. Okay. Delicious. We're back. We've got our enchiladas all folded up, ready to go. So Nick, if you want to come over here, we got a little bit more of our enchilada sauce left. We're just going to spread it around a little bit. Okay, we're done with that now. I'm going to turn the stovetop off. 
I'm going to take the rest of our lovely mix here. I'm just going to spread it all on top. So we're going to kind of move that around a little bit. Now, you don't want to use the tomatoes yet. This uh, cup, well, half a cup or so of tomatoes we're going to put on in the end. So what we're going to do is transpose this into the oven. Remember, 350 degrees preheated. We're going to sit this in there for 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, we shall have finished enchiladas. Okay, so in typical unchef fashion, the whole point of this damn show, is we forgot to cover the enchiladas. So we're... Uh bill waiting for our uh, enchiladas to finish baking in the uh, you know that contraption yes we we have we have nine minutes left and as you can ladies see, and gentlemen that is uh, in fact yes nine minutes and oh. as you can see they are still covered they are right. yeah you might want to close that keep the heat in gotcha <clears throat> all right so uh, what else is uh, going on around here let's go see uh, what Nick's up to What's he doing? You can see that uh, it's very exciting here at the uh, house while we're waiting for our food to cook. Yes. Don't you wish? Don't you wish you were here, all of America, with us, the unchefs? Four, three, two, two, one, and you guys are so oh, off. Yeah. 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 Okay. Stop it. Timer off. Thank you. And we're coming out, Ron. What are we doing? Well. My fellow Americans, what we're doing here is uh, obviously removing our meal that we just spent the last freaking hour preparing. Acapaco, enchilada. Uh, five minutes, ten minutes. All right, now. Nick, what do you have to say about that? My nap was amazing. For all you knuckleheads out there, make sure <laughs> you turn off your oven. How, how do I turn off this oven, Bill? Um, yeah, you, you kind of okay. tw tw twist it until it's up. There we go. And then put that on the off position. Now it's off. Okay. That Actually, means off. That means right? off. Yes. See, not off, off. But it's, yeah, we got it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Now, take that beautiful cover off. What do we have there? Bam! Hi, guys. And now we're going to finish up our Acapulco enchilada. I have some uh, diced tomatoes here. Beautiful. I'm just going to take them and, you know, spread them on our, on our, uh, now, now, why do you do enchiladas? that, Nick? Well, you know, because if we put these on when we bake them, they're going to get all nasty. This is a, another wonderful unchef project, the Acapulco Enchiladas. Um, and again, we got to give our shout out to Kistler Farms. Check out the website, kistlerfarms.com. K-I-S-T-L-E-R-F-A-R-M-S dot right. com. Right. Dot C-O-M. Dot C-O-M. <laughs> Nick, do you, do you want to you wanna try a bite on, on the... Um, it's probably really, really, really hot, so uh, I'm going to wait so a second. You're going to wait? Yes. Okay. Now, you can see here, uh, Bill filming my, my fork, yes. uh, cutting my Acapulco enchilada. <laughs> so, we've got the flour tortilla, the Kistler Farms jalapeno cheese spread, with some meat. We have any doterin on that meat? There's no doterin on the meat. Okay. That is really good. Yeah? Not quite what I Let's see expected what... it to be, but better. Very good. Well, guys, uh, thank you again for another wonderful uh, day of cooking and having a good time. America, we love you. God peace. bless. And peace. See you next time.